Hey, hello everyone and welcome to another walkthrough movie. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of those. Since I've talked about this one for a long time, I think it's time for Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine on the Sega Genesis, which I'm playing on the uh, Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube. So this game is basically Poyo Pop, but localized. They're like, eh, I don't know if this game's gonna sell if we, if we make it as Poyo Pop. I know, we'll partner with Sonic! Yes! That makes sense! And thus, it sold billions! Kinda, no, not... <laughs> so here's the story of it. <laughs> Witness my evil dream to rid Mobius of music and fun forever! My latest invention, the Mean Bean Steaming Machine! <laughs> will not only dispose of those fun-loving jolly beans of Beanville, but turn them into robot slaves to serve my evil purposes with my roboticizer. Robots, bring me those beans! They're gone. <laughs> so, as you can tell, this is based off the first Sonic the Hedgehog animated series. So yeah, you got the silly robots to boot here, and here's a little tutorial on how to Poyo Pop, or I should say Mean Bean. Match the colors, press down, speed their ascent, you even got some arcade controls. What arcade control? It's crazy looking. Oh no, don't, don't do that, no, you're gonna die! Oh. You killed them. You killed them all. No. Oh. And now, this is one of the more advanced thingies here, is that you can chain stuff together to to loads of damage to your opponent's side of the screen. That would have pretty much KO'd them in one one hit there. Let's just put it that way. And see, there's a two chain there. You know, build them up there. They don't usually come in this sort of uh, convenience. Let me let me put it that way. This is all this is all set up to be all super fancy like for demonstration purposes. <laughs> Believe me when I tell you. You, there's a lot of improvisation to this, so even though I'm gonna make the game look relatively easy here, it's not. <laughs> Believe me, it's not. Took me a while to get the hang of the Puyos. Oh, but I assure you, we are going to demolish those enemies like nobody's business. And there is your basic tutorial of the game. We end up back at the title screen here. Well, okay, okay, done. Not, not quite this high scores. Now we're back at the title screen. Um, on here is a little Easter egg. You can press the A, B, and C buttons. A, B, C, and the D-pad to make that bounce. On the two-player controller, you can do the same thing. Little thing that maybe people wouldn't otherwise notice. And we're going to be doing this on the absolute hardest difficulty. Yes. Yes. So, this will be like the end-all, be-all for a Mean Bean Mastery here. We're not going just through one of the difficulties going up to the next. No, 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 no. We're going to the hardest of the hard. You can put in passwords go to later stages. I'll, I'll list the passwords as I go off to the side, but... Anyway, first stage, we are up with arms. Beans, beans, let me give you a hand or two! I'm to prepare Dr. Robotnik a beautiful bean feast! Come to arms, my beauties! Yeah, they all say their name, basically, as you go. Alright, we are in! And we are ready to bean it up. So I'm gonna rotate one direction with one button, swap out with the other button, the other direction. Yeah, it's B button to go around counterclockwise, A button clockwise, and also C button to yeah. It's it's, it's kind of like a little bit of a okay. I'm just um, yeah. I'm just, just showing you the ropes here. Don't worry about things. It will be okay if I just mess around here. <laughs> So yeah, once you get the hang of those controls, you can really whip those beans around, basically. And uh, I think you will find no knowing your controls by reflex to be very useful. Let's put it that way, okay? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, let's get something built up here. See that refuge bean there that I'm gonna uh, pop here? It's gonna drop the green on there, and then the yellow's gonna drop on there with the red. And it's gonna be so powerful, he's not gonna be able to handle it. And he is gonna be very ticked at this result. 
like I said, I'm gonna make this seem a whole lot easier than it actually is. And by the way, the sound effects are a little bit different than they were in the Genesis version, so... Port emulation, not quite in perfection, but it works just fine in terms of gameplay, I suppose. Arms is always too wrapped up in assault to do anything useful. I'm a bright spark, though, and I reckon I know how to beat you. Do you? Do you? Well, he's gonna try and fill the bottom layer. Um, but, uh, that, I, I, can, I can tell you right now, that's not gonna work super well. <laughs> let's just put it that way. But, well, let's, let's just let him do his thing, okay? Or just, just you know, let, let him fill it up. He'll fill up the first three rows there, maybe four rows, and then he'll be happy. But as for me, I'm just, I, I've already got stuff set up here. <laughs> That's why it's not gonna work well for him, because I'm gonna just, gonna automatically, yeah, just gonna fill up everything to the brim before he can even get anything set up, because he's just placing stuff randomly from left to right. And that's a big thing that I wanted to teach in these early parts of the game, is that speed is very important in Puyo. You're racing to create the most damage to your opponent's playfield as possible before they get to you, otherwise you're gonna be clogged up. <laughs> Gracious, you're here already. I'm shell-shocked. But please, excuse me if I scramble your chances of seeing Dr. R. You know, I guess some of them don't say their names outright, but you will see them in the credits, so maybe I won't spoil their names. Just, just right off the bat, you know, you know, you know, because that, that would be their official point that they say their names and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you a little little beam throwing method here. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear out sort of kind of like the bottom, well not, not sort of clear out I should say, it's sort of like setting up the bottom couple rows here to sort of fall down in a chain here. What I'm gonna do here to achieve that is kind of, well, I'm getting sort of kind of clogged up here a smidge, that's all right though, I'm just demonstrating things more than anything, I'm not worried about losing at this point in the game, don't get too cocky, mister, over there, I see you, I see you gleaming over there, once I clear stuff, you will, you will not be so happy, <laughs> and as you see, with the, the way that I built those bottom layers, is that I've got stuff so that when one falls, the others fall on top of it. And that's a skill that is extremely important in Poyo Pop, or Dr. Robotnik's Mean Beam Machine, because you've got to attack, and you've got to attack aggressively. Like, I'm gonna do this. I was gonna start it from the right side and go over, but since you kinda clogged me up a little bit there while I was demonstrating stuff, I'll, I'll just do it that way. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> now, now you don't look so happy. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more serious on later levels, of course, but that is the gist of it. And a lot of that improvisation just comes from just trying to think about what's coming up next and how to line up the colors as they're gonna fall in, like in relation to each other and whatnot. Like I'm gonna go ahead and see that yellow is gonna fall on the other yellow, and the purple's gonna fall on the other purple. Yeah, it's all it's all very nice the way that I have things set up here. So that I was in absolutely no danger whatsoever. <laughs> so yeah, it's not not that too difficult up at this point, even though we're on the hardest difficulty. I mean, yes, the speed is uh, it is much much faster already compared to earlier difficulties, but I'm so used to the gameplay that it's like eh, eh. And here we have coconuts, also from the TV show. Coconuts, I'm Doctor Robotics here, robots. He's crazy too because I'm going to finish you in a flash. And he uh, fills up both left and right sides. Which, like, uh, like stage number two guy, does not help him in the slightest defeat me. <laughs> I'm gonna show you another little technique here. I'm gonna go and sort of like pile stuff up in a sort of kind of staircase formation here. You see how things will fall down on each other's things there? Yeah, well, I gotta put a red on top of the green now. But I, maybe I'll clear some of this out. But yeah, I was gonna put a green, well, yeah, around right there to drop the green, and yeah, you, you probably get what I'm saying there. It's just that things are going a lot faster now in terms of uh, actual difficulty. So maybe, maybe I can't be as complacent. I should start dropping stuff like a madman, <laughs> like to my absolute 
quickest instincts possible or something like that, maybe, maybe. So anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and get this all nice and pretty here. Get this, oh, oh I see, I see, you're getting stuff, getting a little aggressive there, trying to block out my stuff, but no, it is futile. For there is nothing you can do to stop my onslaught of beans! <laughs> so yeah, as, as you can see, since he fills up the side, that isn't very useful in, in terms of, like, actual attack power. Because while, while you always have something to actually pop, it doesn't actually let you counter anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, because those little sides always gumming up the works in a way, too, and it's, it's slow to get that started up, too. And here's another way to chain, is that if you destroy a refuge bean underneath something that'll make something else fall, you can put a... Yeah, like, like this one right here under the purple is gonna drop the red down there, and then the yellow down there, that's what I was working on earlier, but I got gummed up as I was explaining stuff. That's okay, though. He He's, uh, he's a little panicky at the moment, but... Some, something tells me that uh, he's not going to be able to get out of it <laughs> if I just keep sending like one line yippies over to his side because I'm going to just put layers on top of layers. That's that's another part of the, uh, the game's strategy too is that if you want to clog someone up while they're trying to recover, just send just send little two chains over there and you'll probably probably offset their attempts pretty pretty quickly. Sage 5, we are up, and we got a music change. Woo! A squirt like you has been reuniting too many beans. Ah! I reckon I'll have to pioneer some new techniques. Well, best of luck with that. Okay, so I'll let's let's start taking stuff a little bit more seriously, okay? <laughs> Just kind of plop stuff in a nice fancy line over here. How does that sound? Looks looks pretty good so far. I, I, I think you see where, where I'm going with this. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna have to switch this up a little bit because he kind of kind of messed up my uh, setup there. If I put a red there, and if I plop this down over here. Oh wait, no, I miscounted. That's okay, though. No, that's okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll start it off on the other side, but I didn't have enough of the purples attached there. You know what? I'll just two-chain my way over to victory if you're gonna if you're gonna cause me ire, you know? You know? <laughs> Actually, I could do more than that. Uh, if I were to put a little blue there, a little, a little green there, maybe I will set that up there, too, for the future. And let's just get this stuff all beautiful there. As you can see, that red is now in a nice place for the purples there that I set up. Yeah, as I said, it's it's a lot to get the hang of. It, it may seem like it's it's pretty complicated to get the hang of this, but you will most certainly get the hang of this as you keep playing the game. Because you're going to see opportunities as you keep trying to chain stuff. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, even if I can't use this for now... I can use this for later if I pile it this way with this stack and etc etc. So you can just keep chaining on and chaining on and using things usefully for all of eternity. All right, wheels. I've got more sizzle and a rasher of bacon. I'm hungry, and it ain't meals on wheels I'm after. It's you. Well, well, uh, I, I I don't know if a robot can do that, but I don't know if you can eat humans. I'm gonna keep those separate. That looks like it was dumb, but no, 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 we're, we're chaining here. <laughs> Did you forget about the chaining? No, 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 no. Oh, no, it's not dumb at all. We're gonna, gonna go ahead and set some stuff up over here. Actually, I'm gonna destroy this out over here, and maybe actually clear out this to get the blue lined up there. Uh, can we put... Oh, no! That was, that was like the perfect spot for it to land. Well, well, oh, don't you get excited. Don't you get excited. I'll I'll get you soon enough here. Oh, I just went in the perfect spot again. Yeah, it's okay. We're just gonna we just need a green here. We'll be just fine. Just kinda pop stuff as we go. Just nice and gently, biding our time. <laughs> Actually maybe I'll have to destroy this. No green is coming, man. No green is coming, but I can one chain this just fine. I, I had to ruin one chain, but that's okay in the name of recovery. Now you're snorting a little bit there. Might wanna might wanna go for an emissions test. Cause that, that that doesn't look too healthy, so might wanna Yeah, but you might you might not make it through this round after after what I have in store for you. <laughs> 
And when you, whenever you get stuff like clogging and, yeah, gumming up your works like that, you might want to just start destroying stuff to get free of the other stuff. If it's up to you, though, I mean, you can still chain just fine at the top, like I'm doing right here, but it's up, it's up to you depending on the situation, I guess you could say. Like, if he's up near the top with you, you might want to... I want to put those chains out there to put some pressure out there, you know? You know? Here's a double chain for you. How do you like those apples? <laughs> and, and you know, I'm not even playing at like my maximum capacity. I'm only using 1% of my power, says Frieza. <laughs> Alright, so this is going pretty, pretty smoothly, dynamite time here. Are you dynamite, though? Probably not. Well, blow me away! <laughs> As if Dr. Avat Dr. Har hasn't had enough stick already. Here I am to provide a fireworks display. Gotta love their puns. And we're off. So let's go ahead. I see this opportunity as being a nice column A dropout good time here. I'm gonna just actually go... I should probably leave, like, one side pretty wide open. Actually, you know what? I'll just finish it here. Because <laughs> I see he's going to get locked up if I do that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good opportunity to actually just do a two... Or, I mean, a three chain, excuse me, and then... Yeah, get stuff... Get stuff in a nice position for him to uh, lose out on the game here. And I go... Well... Actually, well, that kind of clogs me up a little bit now. That's a decent strategy, I've got to say. <laughs> That's alright. We'll be just fine. Because he's... Yeah, he kind of ran out of stuff himself. <laughs> that initial clog that I went for there, that, that was that was a dead man. He's like, uh-oh. I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> Grounder! Remember him with Scratch from the TV show? He's pretty quick. But he's not that smart, which you call me Sam, because I'm like a surface air missile! Wait, I, I, how did voice go, actually? I think, I'm gonna have you for lunch, or something like that. I, 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 yeah, I think it was something like that. HOLY POOP, WHERE THE SPEED HAS GONE UP! <laughs> well, it wouldn't be this fast, unless you're playing on the uh, hardest difficulty at this point, of course, but, you know. You know, it's what, it's what I do here. <laughs> So let's go ahead and plop a little, little blue up. Actually, wait a second. You're gonna two chain me, so I better better clear some stuff out here. I see that. I see that. And that is the name of the game of watching screens. <laughs> That's uh, you seem you seem awfully confident there. Would be a shame if something happened to that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and clear some of this stuff out here, nice and smoothly, just kind of carving my way into the center very nicely through the refuge beams, and suddenly he's not looking so happy. <laughs> Let's do a nice two-chain to get ourselves back on the offensive track here. I'm not afraid of your singular dealios there. I can use them to my advantage, even. <laughs> By the way, you can also destroy more than four at a time to send a, a little little bean over his way, and there's sometimes a bean will appear just for destroying four. It's kind of randomized, though, in that regard, but... Hello, Mr. Thing Chain. Hello, Mr. Game Ender. <laughs> I don't think he's going to recover from this because he got five colors to deal with. He might be able to. I I've seen computers do that before, but I'll just keep on chaining and we'll, 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 we'll finish the job here. <laughs> <laughs> do, a, do a couple layers of chains, no big deal. Yeah, you know, lay a red on top of that, just in case things go awry on the other front of green. Actually, what? I, well, too late. I was gonna say, actually, I could uh, set a purple down there. Uh, the purple that was above the green, to chain them together, and then put purple on top of, yeah. And then the green on top of that, yeah, it, it, just the chain right straight down to the green. There's so many possibilities, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Squirt. Let's see what you're made of. Ah! Look at those red brains you've seen. I'm Spike, and I'm gonna stick it to ya. Okay, so some of them still give their names out. High speed start. <laughs> uh, ooh, I like this. I really like this. I'm gonna go 
Oh yes, yeah, so we got another music change, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna go stack this up to that side, and... How about I go... This for the future, because I got alternating colors going on there. Set this up nicely. I could use a green. That would be, that would be pretty nice to see, if you don't mind. <laughs> it's like, I got greens early on in there. It's like, nope, you're not getting any more greens! <laughs> and, game over. When you get those red beans, it's, it's probably... <laughs> It's probably game over. Hello, instant drop. We meet again. Yeah, instant drop starts at this level as well, when you start getting a couple chains on the opponent there, and, well, well, it's, it's not gonna stop me from chaining, because I'm so used to playing the game, as I mentioned before, but... Yeah! <laughs> I'm just, I'm I know I'm making this look really easy, but I assure you it's not. My lord is troubled by thy success, sire, but thou art destined to proceed no further. Prepare to duel Lord Robotnik's champion. Eh. Uh, th th there's, there's a couple stages ahead of you, so I don't know if you're his champion, but... <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and show you how to do the stackaroo with improvisation. Oh, no, don't block that! <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We'll be fine, I'm sure. Just gotta kind of free things up a little bit here. Oh, he, he got some speed ups going on over there. I hope he'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, let's just get stuff set up here. There we go. I can start chaining from the top and work my way down. There we go. I don't really care that much about that. <laughs> it should be okay. Is it just gonna give me a couple bits more fuel here? Oh, wait, wait, wait let me. What? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't care about that because I could walk it up there. But well, well, so that didn't let me walk it up there. Ah, whatever. <laughs> All right, so let's just press the start button. By the way, oh, I actually should have showed you the game over screen. Um, if you mash the A or B button, the counter will go down a lot quicker. I should actually just forfeit this. It's <laughs> just to show you that. Like, I'm not taking it super seriously anyway. <laughs> As you might have seen. <laughs> Alright, so here. So if you mash, yeah, it's like, do you want to continue? I mean, otherwise, it's, yeah, if it goes down to zero, you gotta start from the beginning or enter a password. But yeah, if you ever need to uh, continue, like, with that, with the password, or um, just continue the game in general, your score resets, but you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, alright. Back to serious Sam here. <laughs> Let's just actually focus for maximum effects. Just gotta actually put that on the wrong side of the dealio, but we should be okay if I just two chain this to get back into a decent position, I think. Yeah, that should be just fine. Look how nice that is. <laughs> There we go, and flip-flop that over there. Maybe I'll make a purple over there, put that over there, and let's say goodbye. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> See, I, that, that's what I mean, I'm not taking it super seriously, but when I do, they're doomed! <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, next stage, number 11, I can count, yes! Oh, Fuzzy Face got tied knots, huh? I guess that's why the doc's sending the boys around. So long, sucker! Best of luck. Should I be super serious or super passive relaxed? Eh, I don't know. Well, man, he's really shaking the, s the screen there. That's, that's craziness. It's like stage two guy. But don't be fearful, for his power means nothing. <laughs> Hello there, two chain right off the bat. And since I've got this set up here all nice, I guess I'll put a couple of greens up there. Actually, ooh, I got another idea. If I put... Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> that's why I can't walk it up in this game. That's right, that's okay. That's okay. But yeah, I was gonna say, if I put that up there and get a couple purples up there, I'll be able to do a two-chain off the purple on the right side, but no. 
Nah, I'm just um, kind of underestimating my Puyo walking here. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man! <laughs> Holy poopers! That's surprising! I'm mean, actually, yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's alright. We go again. And I should watch aside a little bit better than I did. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool. Let's relax and enjoy the Puyos as they are therapeutic to pop. <laughs> Let's put a couple up there. Put a pop a couple over there. How about I put that there? I need one more blue. This this will oh thank you. I was gonna say I need a need a refuge to fall over there. For this to work out nicely. And that will do. That will do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just have fun with them now. <laughs> just kind of do a couple singular chains over there. Have a good time. Just watch him destroy himself with a lack of room. Kind of like what happened to me last game, is I got too passive. But <laughs> it's just mess I should never mess around on the hardest difficulty. Stage 12. Scratch. Surprisingly, he's this far up with the chain. You've been stuck. Got you out here for too long. We're beat to the cross the road and head on, pal. <laughs> I'm winning this one by fair means of fall. That was about right with his voice. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. I guess I'll just kind of do this a little, little differently here this time, based on what I'm getting. Yeah, it should be fine. I'm gonna go and plop a. Oh, what, what? I didn't mean to do that. I was gonna move it sideways, and well, it should be fine. I'll just clear out some of this stuff. I'll just do this to stall him out a little bit. <laughs> that was my own mistake. My own bird brain mistake. Here's another two chain for you. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, just got a little fiver over there. That's alright. We should be okay. I think I'll go. Look at his face. <laughs> just go ahead and set up Another chain coming in the future here. Nice double blue. Oh, oh yeah, that was the refuge. Oh man, now I'm making mistakes all over the place. Oh man. <laughs> so all these amateur mistakes. Just embarrassing. I should be wiping these guys out in seconds, as you can see. I can <laughs> at least when I'm at full capacity. I need to go all 100% freeze on them. <laughs> Uh, I don't like the matching of this color here, so I gotta gotta set some uh, like a double. Oop. I was gonna say some doubles like on top of each other, if at all possible. But you know what? I'm gonna just try and get out of this mess now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh 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 shoot. Oh shoot. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh wait wait. Actually no. This is still not gonna work. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it more seriously. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Alright, super serious Sam. Super serious Frieza. Here we go. <laughs> Actually, I could start off on a pretty, pretty quick note there. Get that nice and pretty over there. Plop that over there. We can get a yellow on top of that. And we can start getting the green chain on its way here. There we go. Uh, actually, I should probably destroy that a little bit. And just to knock down that, because I see another yellow is coming. And bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, that was the last stage. Ugh, game over, guys. Time for the credits. Game over. Woo! <laughs> you don't be done, Spots. Can't you do anything right? Now I'll have to do my own dirty work and blend those beans! Super Seeker Final Stage 13, Dr. Robotnik! 
<laughs> it's not over. It's not over, and he's got his own theme song and everything here. Let's go, baby. Final boss for realsies this time. Or is it? Or is it? I'm gonna go ahead and... Yeah, I'll just start off with a simple one chain, get get things all nice and offset in my favor. Yeah, I'll just do another one chain there. There we go. <laughs> I think I'll stack that like so. And then I'll go and... Yeah, I'll just one chain, there we go. It's not too sharpy. Just kind of keep things in a nice, relaxed fashion here. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we are. We're basically playing instant drop hoyos right now. Aside from that slight delay when they lock in place. Uh, go, lock that there. I think. I need a yellow. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. It's something nice when you get the right colors, right? 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 Anyway, <laughs> let's put that blue there for the future, so I can destroy something next to it. And just, oh, wow, that, that dropped quickly! <laughs> I was not ready for that. That's okay, though. It'll be just fine, as long as we play with the best of our noodles. 100% Frieza, go! I just hope we don't have Super Saiyan Goku in the mix here. Oh, jeez, Super Saiyan Goku. Nah, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, we should be just fine. At least I hope. At least I hope. I'm gonna flip that around like that. Gonna go plop that up, 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 up. Oh, that, that's right. I can't do that. I'm planning for something that doesn't exist. That's ba <laughs> that's basically my issue. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got a special victory laugh too. All right, yeah, I, I messed. That, that's the third time I did that. Cause <laughs> I'm used to playing Poyo. You can walk the Poyos up the yeah. Man, man, I've been playing too much New Age Poyo. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been just fine if I would have placed something below that to actually, you know, plan for that appropriately, but no. But no. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna derp a derp, and I'm not gonna... <laughs> not gonna win the match. Because of bad decisions of mechanics that I think are there, but don't exist. Alas. Alas. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and begin digging back down here a little bit. Oh, really? <laughs> it's like it's like coming earlier than I'm expecting. I could put the red over there just in case of a future chain. Never know if you'll get a double purple after all. Like that, actually. Look at that planning. <laughs> nice, nice. And also, also watch this. Gonna drop down even out for a three chain. That will do it. At least I think he will, unless he manages some super lucky... <laughs> something super lucky, like two double same colors in a row or something like that. And we beat the game! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Goodbye. <laughs> yes! Yes! And this is the point when you actually hear the names of all the characters. <laughs> See, I was giving giving away a little bit, little bit on the early side. Yeah, frankly, based off of Frankenstein. And then we got, of course, Humpty, based on Humpty Dumpty, sat on the wall. The egg had a great fall. You crack them. Coconuts for the monkeys climbing the trees. Oh no! I didn't I put the controller down and I accidentally hit the... <laughs> I accidentally hit the button. Dang it! Hold on! By the way, the last stage that you played will automatically have the password entered. So... Handy! <laughs> okay, I just beat him really quick. Just, just to get back to the character cast all over again. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Just <laughs> set down the controller and brush the button. Oh man. Anyway, it's Davy Sprocket is up next, like Davy Crockett. Yup, yup, yup. Squeal, of course. Of course. But not meal, don't be confused. Dina might a different spelling, but pronounced the same. Grounder, we know him from the TV show. How could you forget about that lovable bot? How could you forget? Spike. 
Of course. I get, kinda gotta mention that. <laughs> I like this. Sir, for fuzzy logic. <laughs> and we got the Dragon Breath, also a kinda funny name in on itself. Scratch, can't forget about him as well, as he's another main character of the cartoon. And of course, Robotnik. Not so sad, I mean, not so happy, except for his portrait there for some reason, despite us destroying his entire factory. And has been, has been cheering us along this whole time, having a good time as well. Woo! And these are the credits! And this is the point that I accidentally hit the button because it fades over time. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So these people made the game, I did not. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people as a smidge. I'd like to show as well over at the exercise mode, which is basically unlimited uh, marathon mode for Puyo, just called exercise mode for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's like you're high score type Puyo mode, but more importantly, it's the place that you can use to actually practice your moves, you know, like in the battles, because Puyo is primarily a multiplayer game. Either you're playing the computer or you're playing against somebody, in that you're, you're battling other people. It's not so much about the score as it is about the battling. That's what makes the Puyos interesting. I mean, anything can add a scoring system, and as a matter of fact, um, you can I could pretty much go infinitely without dying <laughs> just in exercise mode until I max out the score if I really wanted to. But after a while, I, I got so bored, I was like, I don't feel like doing anymore, and I just quit. <laughs> just let it fill up to the top. It's, uh, if you didn't notice, the uh, uh, second row, I mean, excuse me, the third row from the left, or the first one in, in the center two, you know, from the left, is the... Uh, the, the death row, if it fall, goes all the way up to the top, you're a goner, but that, that should be pretty obvious. <laughs> As you've seen that tutorial early on in the old walkthrough movie and whatnot, so yeah! Game has been beaten! And... Not that important. <laughs> Alright. It's just gonna reset my initials anyway when I turn off the game. It will also turn off, I mean, it will, it'll erase your passwords when you, like, that are stored in the scenario password screen as well. Uh, like, remember I mentioned earlier that it would save that? Well, if you turn it off, it'll actually reset that, but big whoop, it's only four characters, you know? Alright, exercise mode! Let's rock! So you can start out at the hardest difficulty, which, as you can see, it's, it's not really the hardest difficulty, let's let's put it that way. <laughs> it can be a whole lot faster. And as, as you see, I, I even have the time to flip them in both directions if I'd like to. And as you'll also notice, there really isn't any dangers here, like there isn't anything to worry about attack-wise. So you can freely practice your chaining to your heart's content. <laughs> It will get to the point of, like, instant drop speed, but then strangely, after you level up, it'll go back to a slower speed. I don't understand that either. D see that? See that? It just, it's just, just slowed down. Why did it do that? I don't understand. Maybe it's time to do that to throw me off? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, if you're having trouble with the game, just come in here, relax, Practice your Puyos, and check this out. Different version of Puyo that you only see in these... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Don't really see that one too often, but it clears out an entire row of everything that is down below it, so... That's pretty fun whenever you get one of those. Uh, well, unless it's gonna destroy something that you have set up nicely, and then, and then it's not so fun, but... Uh, it is, you know, something else that you still have to plan for and whatnot. I was hoping to get one of those eventually. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I primarily came into the exercise mode to show, besides that, the weird speed change that, that this game has for some odd reason. I'm just kind of setting stuff up for future changes here, if you don't mind. <laughs> 
So yeah, it's, it's not. It's, it's just there's not that much pressure. You can you can relax. Just there to go slows down again. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah, um, so if you're ever having difficulties again, again, I get, I keep repeating myself. But yeah, just come over here, have a good time. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the walkthrough movie here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Maybe it'll be a walkthrough movie. Maybe it'll be something else. Who knows? All I know is I'm just going to last forever if I, if I don't do this. 